Hey folks, welcome back to another exciting day of online woodshop. Yay! <laughs> All right, so what I want to do today is get you guys started on your next project, which is going to be the lamp. So you can see I have kind of a half-built lamp here, but this at least gives you an idea of what your lamp's going to look like. You guys are going to put a tea candle in it. It's actually, it's going to look pretty sweet. I'm excited about this project, all things considered. What you're going to do for me today, though, is you're going to build the base. So there's going to be a base that the lamp is going to sit on. It's actually not in here. And also, I'm going to have you guys cut out 12 sticks that are 11 inches long. So I'm going to walk you through that process right now. Let's start out with the base. So for the base, what we're going to do is take these four small blocks. So go ahead and get the four small blocks that are in your bag of materials. Okay, get the four small blocks, and then also get the big square that looks like this. Go ahead and go grab those, get those out. If you need to pause it or wait for a second, you can. Get those things out, and also you're going to need your glue. Oops, your glue. So remember, with our glue, we always, 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 before we use our glue, we always take a big drink. Don't forget to drink your glue. Okay, and what we're gonna do for our base, this is rather simple. We're gonna take these four blocks and we are going to glue them onto the bottom of our base. What isn't so simple about this is we need to create some sort of clamping or pressure to hold these blocks in while they're gluing. So to do that, we're actually gonna use a giant stack of books or anything heavy. I've got some books on a piece of wood here that I'm going to use, and I'm going to use that as my clamp. So once I get everything clamped in, this is going to sit on top of it, and it's supposedly going to glue it all together. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, gluing. When you glue your blocks in, it's really important that you don't glue the end grain of your block. So. It's actually kind of hard to see the end grain. I'm going to show you guys. If you look really closely at your block, your little block, if you feel the sides, you're going to feel that there's two sides that are kind of rough. And on those sides, you see the growth rings. So let me put this right there. If you look, if you look right here, you can see that. I'm trying to get it to zoom in. This side and that side. Those sides are both a little bit rough. If you look at them, they kind of look like the ends of a bunch of straws. That's the end grain, okay? Those are the growth rings in the wood. If you're not, check it out, if you're not able to identify the end grain and you put the glue on the end grain, it's not the end of the world. So don't, don't beat yourself up over, over this. It's not really that big of a deal. But what I want you to try to do is I want you to try to avoid putting glue on the end grain. That's right, you're gonna try to avoid putting glue on the end grain. So go ahead and grab a pencil, and I want you to make an X. You're gonna make an X on the side, or one of the sides, that's not in grain. So basically, this is a cube, it's got six sides. Four of those sides are not in grain. Okay, and again, don't, don't worry too much about this, just try your best. So I know that the in grain is on this side and that side, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this side, I'm gonna put an X, just to remind me of where to put my glue. Okay, so I'm going to do it on that block, this block here, that's the end grain, so I'm going to do it right there, on that block, got that one, got this one, all right, and where's my other block, oh, there it is, block down, block down, I'll be right back. And I'm gonna put my X right there. All righty. So I've got an X that's not on the end grain. <laughs> that's not on the end grain on my four little blocks. So now, you know where I'm going with this, right? I'm going to take my blocks and I'm gonna glue my blocks in. Now, if you wanna get really tricky, you could look at the end grain and you can find the end grain on your your block here, see that's the side grain. That's the ingrain. If you want to, it'd look cool if you oriented your ingrain on your blocks with the end grain on your square. Now, 
If you are totally confused by what I'm saying right now about ingrain, side grain, yada, 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 yak, it's mackety, don't worry about it. Just do your best. Okay, so anyway, but I'm gonna orient my end grain together for those of you that are following me. So I'm gonna take glue, I'm just gonna put a healthy dab of glue on each block on my X. Boom. Boom. Okay, so I got my four blocks, four blocks with glue on them. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, and this part is a little tricky, I'm gonna put my square down on my blocks. And I'm going to do it kind of over here. I want you guys to be able to see it, but I want to leave a little room to work on the next project or next part of the project too. Okay, so I'm going to orient my end grain. So my end grain is pointing this way on all my blocks. See how I oriented it? And I'm going to take my big block, end grains going that way. And I'm going to just, you guessed it, just kind of set it on top. Now, things are going to move. Everything's gonna want to squish around. Everything's gonna want to move as you can see there So you're gonna want to push down super hard on it and Just get everything oriented while you're pushing down before you put your book books on okay So you really want to check it you want to check it before you do this because if you don't check it when you put your books on It's all gonna move and your feet are gonna end up in the middle <laughs> rather than on the in the corners. So we want we want our feet in the corners. I don't know if you guys can see. See that? How I have a foot there, I have a foot there. I have one here and I have one here. So I've got one little block foot in each corner. All right. Now I'm pushing down super hard. Pushing down really hard. Super duper hard. Now I'm going to take my stack of books and I'm gonna set it on top and I'm gonna be super careful when I put it on top that nothing moves all right let's take a look you guys look under there it's kind of hard to see there you go see how it's sitting on there and you can see the blocks that's what we're shooting for okay so it's gonna take the glue a couple hours to dry. So we're just gonna set that aside. We're gonna let that dry. And while that's drying, like I said, we need to cut 12 out. pieces from our long sticks that are 11 inches long. 12 pieces, I don't have enough fingers to show you. 10, 12 pieces that are 11 inches long. Now, when you use your sticks, try to use up your short ones first if you can, and then go to your long ones, okay? So to do that, We've been doing this quite a bit now. You guys should be familiar with this by now. Take your tape measure, pull it out. You can lock it into place. Measure from the ends. Okay, and you're gonna make a mark. You're gonna make a mark. It's probably backwards for you guys, I'm sorry, but you're gonna make a mark at the 11. So I got my 11 inch mark. I'm gonna mark the first one really accurately. I marked it at 11. Okay, now we're gonna get our cutting device, which is our beautiful butter knife, right? I'm gonna take the butter knife and I'm gonna cut it. We're gonna do the same thing we've been doing. I'm just gonna score it all around. So I'm scoring from one side, scoring from another, like that. Score it all the way around, all four sides. Put my fingers next to it. I'm just gonna shake it back and forth, remember? Just like that, and break it. Okay, that should be 11 inches long. I'm gonna check it. And when I check it, it's perfect. It's 11 inches long. Now, if you cut out your first one and it's perfect, you can then use this. You can use this and you can put it up against all the others and you can use all the others and mark it out with that one. But what I want you to do is if you find one good one that's perfect, make a little mark on it and just keep using that good one over and over again. Because if you cut out one and it's not quite 11, and then you start using that as your, your good one, 
and then you transfer that to one and then that one's not quite right and then you transfer that to another one and you transfer that to another one and transfer by the time you're done cutting 12 of these out you could be at you could be at 10 inches or 12 inches so if your first one doesn't come out perfectly at 11 it's okay you can still use it if it's a little bit off but measure out another one okay let's measure out another one and make sure that one is perfectly 11 and then use that one as your reference but remember you're gonna cut out 12 of these cut out 12 of these 12 sticks 11 inches long so when you're done today you should have your base underneath a stack of books with the feet glued on and you should have 12 pieces cut out at 11 inches long 12 pieces 11 inches long 12 at 11 base on your stack or your stack on your base and you guys will be ready to go when we come back you'll be ready for the next step all right so good luck have fun with this if you have any questions you can always send me an email talk to you guys soon